वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वेरी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वाई यू एस एफ डी ऑडिट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री सो देर आर मेजरली फोर रीजन्स बिहाइंड इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ यू एस एफ डी ऑडिट इन फार्मा इंडस्ट्री फर्स्ट इज रेगुलेटरी कंप्लायंस यू एस एफ डी ऑडिट कंप्लायंस इन्श्योर्स अडेन्स टू स्ट्रिक्ट रेगुलेशंस फॉर पब्लिक हेल्थ एंड मेडिकेशन सेफ्टी सेकेंड रीजन इज मार्केट एक्सेस क्लियरेंस ऑफ यू एस एफ डी ऑडिट प्रोवाइड्स एंट्री टू दी प्रॉफिटेबल यू एस फार्मास्यूटिकल मार्केट Third reason is reputation protection. USFDA clearance क्लियरेंस बिल्ड ट्रस्ट अमंग स्टेक होल्डर्स एंड स्ट्रेंदिंग द कंपनीज इमेज फोर्थ रीजन इज रिस्क मिटिगेशन यू एस एफ डी ऑडिट आइडेंटिफाइज एंड एड्रेसेज कंप्लायंस इश्यूज टू प्रिवेंट रिकॉल्स एंड लीगल लाइबिलिटीज वॉट इज फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ यू एस एफ डी ऑडिट इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री रूटीन ऑडिट्स बाय द यू एस एफ डी ए इन फार्मास्यूटिकल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फैसिलिटी वैरी but are generally conducted every 2 to 3 years usfda has the authority to conduct surprise audits also known as for cause inspections these audits may be prompted by specific concerns complaints or emerging issues regarding product safety quality or regulatory compliance which documents are commonly needed during usfda audit you can refer below list of 12 documents with the description that are commonly needed during usfd audit these are site master file facility layout standard operating procedures batch records quality control records validation documents training records change controls deviations kappa os market complaint records supplier qualification records audits and inspection records and regulatory filings what is form 482 483 484 and eir form 482 is basically notes potential violations found during an fda inspection whereas form 483 is issued when significant violations are observed during an inspection form 484 documents official meetings or communications between the fda and regulated entities eir stands for establishment inspection report In which countries USFDA has its offices? The USFDA primarily operates within the United States. However, it has also offices in selected countries around the world, including China, India, Europe, Latin America, Middle East, and Southeast Asia. What is typical content of 483 form? 483 form typically contains issuing FDA field office name and address, dates of inspection, FEI number. manufacturers contact info list of observations and names and titles of the investigators whether form 483 and warning letter are same direct answer is no a form 483 is an observation report while a warning letter is a formal communication indicating more serious regulatory concerns what are the key steps for usfda approval for facility here are the five key steps for usfda approval for facility step 1 facility establishment step 2 facility registration step 3 gmp compliance step 4 pre approval inspection at this step facility undergo an inspection by the fda before approval and fifth important step is approval decision here facility receives approval from the fda to manufacture and distribute pharmaceutical products from the facility which sectors come under the purview of usfda audit here are the eight important sectors that come under the purview of usfda audit these are first pharmaceutical second medical devices third food and beverages fourth cosmetics fifth tobacco products sixth biologics seventh veterinary products and eighth radiological health This one is very commonly asked question question is when should a pharmaceutical company respond to a form 483 issued by the USFDA when a pharmaceutical company receives a form 483 issued by the USFDA it is typically expected to respond promptly whereas 15 business days is often considered a reasonable time frame for providing an initial response the complexity of the observations and the required corrective actions may influence the actual timelines what are some common areas or processes within a pharmaceutical facility that are commonly scrutinized during a usfda audit here is the list of eight common areas or processes that are 
commonly or typically scrutinized during an USFD audit. These are first quality control and assurance, second good manufacturing practices, third documentation and record keeping, fourth facility and equipment maintenance, fifth personal training and qualification, sixth cleaning and sanitation practices, seventh raw material handling and storage, and eighth validation of processes and systems. What are the four types of USFDA inspections? Here is the short information about four types of USFDA inspections. First is pre-approval inspections. These are done before product approval. Second is routine inspections. These are done as a periodic check. Third is follow-up inspections. These are done for addressing previous non-compliance issues identified. Fourth one is for cause inspections. These are prompted by specific concerns, complaints or incidents. This one is very fundamental question. What is basic purpose of USFDA inspections? The Food and Drug Administration that is FDA conducts inspections and assessments of regulated facilities to determine a firm's compliance with applicable laws and regulations such as Food, Drug and Cosmetics Act and related acts. How is USFDA inspection outcomes are classified? After an inspection, FDA determines if the area evaluated are in compliance with applicable laws and regulations. FDA and the inspection classification database classifies the inspection by each project area with one of three classification. The three classifications are displayed are first no action indicated that is NAI which means no objectionable conditions or practices were found during the inspection. Second is voluntary action indicated that is VAI which means objectionable conditions or practices were found but the agency is not prepared to take or recommend any administrative or regulatory action. Third is official action indicated that is OAI which means regulatory and or administrative action will be recommended. Compliance with which USFDA guidelines is commonly checked during USFDA inspection? Compliance with following five important USFDA guidelines is commonly checked during an USFDA inspection. First is 21 CFR. CFR stands for Code of Federal Regulations. Second, ICH guidelines. ICH stands for International Council for Harmonization. Third, Good Manufacturing Practices, that is GMP guidelines. Fourth, ICH Q9. And fifth, ICH Q8. What are some examples of good manufacturing practices, that is GMP violations, that could result in a Form 483 being issued by the USFDA? Here is the list of 10 examples. First, failure to establish and follow written procedures. Second, inadequate testing. Third, lack of proper equipment maintenance and calibration. Fourth, failure to maintain proper documentation. Fifth, inadequate training. Sixth, contamination of products. Seventh, failure to investigate. Eighth, inaccurate or incomplete records. Ninth, failure to establish appropriate cleaning procedures. And tenth, inadequate systems for monitoring environmental conditions. What are the potential consequences for a pharmaceutical company if it fails to address the observations outlined in a Form 483 issued by the USFDA? Here are the seven important potential consequences that a pharmaceutical company can face. These are first warning letter, second further actions like recalls or legal measures, product recalls, suspended market approvals, legal issues, reputation damage and delay in future approvals. Last and very important question, what are the important do's and don'ts during USFD audit? Here is the list of important do's and don'ts that should be considered during USFD audit. Important do's are prepare thoroughly, keep documentation organized, train staff, maintain good communication and conduct mock audits. Important don'ts are don't panic, don't hide information, don't argue with auditors or inspectors, don't neglect follow up and don't ignore corrective actions. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.